Benin's outgoing Prime Minister Lionel Zinsou posted on Facebook that he'd called Patrice Talon to congratulate him on his victory in the runoff. Zinsou, a former economist backed by outgoing President Thomas Boniyayi, was an early front runner, but having spent the bulk of his career abroad was seen by many as an outsider. Talon, who made his fortune in cotton, used to be a close ally of President Boniyayi, but was accused of masterminding a plot to poison him in 2012. He returned from France in October after a presidential pardon. It would seem that voters want change. They seem to prefer businessmen as their presidential candidates. That's the first lesson. The second lesson would be that the arrival of businessmen on the political scene has created a shift and politicians are no longer seen as the only option. Campaigning centered on unemployment, education and economic growth, issues which Talon is expected to address. My main issue is youth employment. We live in a country with high levels of unemployment. Leaders have to think about young people. Boni Yayi has been lauded for stepping down after two terms as mandated by the constitution, a move that could reinforce Benin's credentials as a model of democracy in sub-Saharan Africa. Clementine Logan, CCTV.